Right guys, some of you asked about steel strikers and their uh, lighting of them. Um, this one's a casual steel striker that I got given to me by a friend of mine. Um, and the flint itself, uh, as some comments have been said on Facebook, long as the piece is razor sharp or decent sharp, if you notice here, it's starting to break off and go quite flat on the edge. This here wouldn't really strike. It will strike, but not the greatest. Uh, today I'm going to have a attempt on this, but if not, then I've got a backup piece that I tend to carry on me. Um, which is just a little tiny piece that I keep in the tin. With this also, I'm going to end up using uh, the sharp edge on here and some char cloth. So if I just fold this over, I don't know how many of you use char cloth or whether you use other means of fire lighting, whether it's uh, Amadou or anything like that. Um, but with this, it's basically get a, fold the char cloth hold, over, hold it close to the edge as you can, take this steel strike but what you need to be careful when striking this I have seen someone slip before and cut the edge of their finger clean on the razor sharp edge so with this it's just a couple of steel strokes get this right there you go bring that in close so you can see and there you go all right so with steel strikers basically it is as long as you've got a razor sharp edge and as long as you've got a decent high carbon hence you can use the back of your knife um, if you're using a steel knife uh, and not a carbon steel knife you will find you will have a lot of problems with this once you get good with this then i'd probably advise you to then move on and try using something like um oh it's gone out of my mind now um iron priorities which you can pick up down the beach Try that. It's a lot of a, a lot lower temperature striking uh, hit temperature, but if you can get it going, good for you. All right, guys. Catch you later. Cheers.